Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on Nick. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire, or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Was that Edie who just walked by? <laughs> yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. 
Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Hey, Commander, check out my co pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Commander, you have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better.
There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? Come and get me! Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back.
Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frovert. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders and security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too.
she's hurt. She needs help now. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. We would Thank you. Jack! Shepard? aren't a trained military force. They need support. She was putting out an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh, that was for leaving, dumbass. I turned myself in to the Alliance, Jack. Yeah? And how'd that work out for you? Did they listen? Didn't think so. You could have stayed. Instead, you decided to go play soldier. Sounds like you're doing that yourself these days. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well... I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. 
And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep servers from boxing you in. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. You really think we're getting out of here? Of course. That's not my fan. Sorry. So our teacher worked with Commander Shepard? That's pretty badass. Yeah. Wonder why she never mentioned it. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. With both of you here. Oh, Maybe we've got a chance. I'm muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. I have to say, Jack, you look good. <laughs> Save it for shore leave, big guy. That's not what I meant. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed-off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus was torturing kids on Pragya. These guys are older, and they volunteered, and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. So, about you and me. <laughs> hey, I get it. You've only got one real love in your life, the Reapers. They're the only thing keeping you awake at night. Which is too bad, because I'm a much better lay. I'm sorry I left. Hell yeah, you should be. Maybe you can apologize some more when this is over. I'm glad we got the chance to talk. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you've got a way out of here, my guys will be ready to move.
Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go.
can go through that side area. Kaylee, we're in the atrium. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. Okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't watch her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing though. You need to hurry.
That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our file says you've been working on shield technology. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye.
Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes! We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. Ma'am, how many tattoos do you have anyway? Hell if I know, Prangley. I was gonna burn off the N7 I got on my ass, but maybe I'll hang on to it for a while. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Did you see the Citadel when we were there on leave? You'd never know there was a war on. They'll know soon enough. All those refugees have to go somewhere. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory.